If you are traveling during the holidays, these are some of my favorite travel hacks and gear that I have used personally this year. Now you are probably thinking, I'm just gonna recommend a pair of noise canceling oh, no. earbuds, but I'm actually not. I looked at some not so common devices that create comfort. That's really comfortable. <sighs> This episode is sponsored by Delete Me, my online privacy assistant. If you are looking for an online original gift that promotes privacy and getting your data off of data broker websites, this would make an awesome gift. And I have got a swanky coupon code just for my viewers. Go over to joindeletemecom slash morse code and get 20% off with the coupon code snubs. So first off is my Snooze original speaker and the Snooze Go speaker. Now both of these fix a specific problem. If you like to sleep with white noise or a fan and you're staying in a hotel, well sometimes those hotel ACs are really loud and bothersome and they keep me awake. This thing helps me actually get sleep when I'm traveling. I love this thing so much. This is how it works. For the original, you simply plug it into any wall wart, you turn it on and you change the power setting to your desired noise level. The Snooze Go is rechargeable via USB-C and it turns on the same way. Now I prefer the original. I I think that the sound quality is more natural and more relaxing, and I do get the best sleep whenever I put this thing between my bed and wherever the noise is likely going to come from. That could be the window or the door to the hotel hallway. Now, if you like that fan noise, I would say grab one of these. It's really, really helpful, and it's small enough, especially the Go, to fit into a carry-on easily. Also, the carrying case that I've been using here is optional. Next is this weird little flexible rubber thing. This is called the iFlex. Now, since I often wanna watch something that I downloaded on YouTube Premium on my phone or Netflix during flights, this gives my phone a nice sturdy little stand instead of having to hold it the whole time and stare at it. It is very, very flexible, so you can bend this to your desired tilt, and the material really holds the phone and keeps it steady so that even during like turbulence, it's not gonna slip off of the iFlex itself. The only thing that I noticed with the iFlex is the thickness from the front to the back. It is quite thick, so that can keep it from fitting between some tray slots while the tray is stowed upwards on planes against the back of the seat in front of you. But in those cases, I just put the tray down and I use it on the tabletop. I actually bought a couple of these for friends who travel a lot for work and they also love them as well. There are also other colors too, in case you prefer something that's not so pink. Now, number three is the Airfly. Specifically, the one I have is called the Airfly Pro. So for the few times that I actually want to plug into the entertainment display that's on the back of the seat in front of me and I want to watch something on the plane ride, I never want to wear those wired earbuds that they give you because they're so cheap. Half the time the sound quality is just utter crap and one of the earbuds just somehow it never works right. One of them works and one of them doesn't. And well, it's wired and it's kind of messy. So I prefer using my own Bluetooth headphones like the ones I have here are the Pixel Buds Pro. So Airfly is a Bluetooth dongle that you plug into the headphone jack via the little headphone port right here. And this pairs to your earbuds to transmit the audio from the display in front of you to your own pair of earbuds. In essence, it turns those entertainment displays into Bluetooth enabled displays instead. Now, while some planes do have Bluetooth now, that is not very common, so the Airfly fixes that little problem. I have the Airfly Pro, which allows you to pair two sets of headphones at once so you can share listening with your spouse, for example. There's also a classic Airfly as well as an Airfly Duo. But I've been very, very happy with these and I'm probably gonna get my husband an Airfly for his own travel because this thing is very useful and he loves watching movies on planes. Also, if you ever need to, you can switch it between transmitting and receiving as well. Actually being able to enjoy those trips without stressing about your data being publicly available on the internet, doesn't that sound nice? Now imagine just automating the constant struggle of opting out of all the data brokers so that you can enjoy your time off instead 
instead of filling it with even more tasks. <laughs> we can all agree, data brokers are the absolute worst. Data broker websites make our data easily searchable, and it's publicly available up on the internet. That's data like your full name, your home address, your phone number, your email address, all these things that could be used for identity theft. And yes, you can totally go to each of these different sites, all those data brokers, one by one, find your data, request that they remove it. But that can take days every single month to do because there are so many data brokers out there. I'm not doing that while I'm at home for the holidays. I'm going to spend time with my family. So I signed up for Delete Me many, many years ago as a paying customer, and they take the hassle and the stress off of my shoulders. Delete Me sends all those opt-outs for me, so I don't have to by searching all of those data broker websites and sending them all those manual opt-out requests. Even though several of my friends who work in cybersecurity recommended Delete Me to myself, I realized that you might be a little sus about trusting a company to do this work for you. Delete Me takes a very strong approach to data security as well. So if you are ready to take control over your data online, check out joindeletemecom slash Morse code and get 20% off any of their consumer plans with the coupon code SNUBS, that's S-N-U-B-S, which will automatically apply at checkout via that link. That's joindeletemecom slash Morse code and 20% off with the coupon code SNUBS. And thank you so much to Delete Me for sponsoring this episode and honestly, just for being a company that I have trusted to take care of this for me for many, many years. Now, next up, these are two products that I mainly use for work. The first one being this teeny tiny little portable Kingston. This is a Kingston portable SSD, one terabyte. This is the XS2000 model, which Kingston sent out to me to check out. This is a tiny little SSD that can fit in your pocket. It's very, very lightweight, and it's super easy to travel with. I also really appreciate that they have this like rubber bumper material that you can stick on it, like the sleeve that you can put around your SSD to kind of protect the port on the side of it. It's super cute. I did test the speeds via the USB-C connection on my desktop, and these were the results. They are quite quick. Not the fastest in the world for sure, but definitely fast enough for my needs. Now, I like having an external SSD for a lot of the photo and video editing work that I need to do. So keeping one of these in my travel bag really helps me stay productive whenever I'm out of my studio. Next are these awesomely cute and really portable Nomad power adapters. Now, these are so small. They're S-M-O-L small. What the heck? Why are you so small? I could fit one of them in my zipper wallet if I wanted to. I could fit them in my lady pants pocket. Both of these are slim. They're very, very slim, but they do pack super fast charging as well. The smaller one is 35 watts. That's 20 volt, 1.7 amps. The bigger one is 65 watts. Both of them have the GAN tech built in and USB-C PD or power delivery. The flip out prongs on the back keep it really compact. And unlike some bulkier adapters, this one is not going to be top heavy. So I noticed that it doesn't fall out of plugs on the plane, especially if the plug is kind of loose. I have those problems with a competitor's products quite often. So I was really happy that these actually stayed in place and I didn't have to like hack together some kind of thing to keep it in the plug underneath my seat the whole time that I was on a plane. So very nice little feature there. The 65 watt one has two USB-C PD ports on the bottom right here. And if you use both at once, it will do 45 watts via the left port and 20 watts via the right one, or just straight 65 watts if you're using just one port. All right, and the last two products are not tech necessarily, oh no. but I recently discovered these items and they make my long haul flights a little bit more bearable. Remember, comfort is the topic of this video when it comes to travel. <sighs> So first is this strange little device. This is a foot hammock. It's called the Sleepy Ride. I know it sounds ridiculous. So you take this hammock and you place the two straps around the tray in front of you. Like you put down the tray, buckle this, and then put the tray back up. And that buckles it in place and you can adjust it to your desired height. So I found this super useful for a red eye flight that I took to Japan in October. I wanted to put my feet up in a better position than just on the floor. So I use this as a way 
to lift my legs up and allow me to stretch and move around my feet so I could sleep better. It absolutely helped with swelling too and circulation and it's also memory foam. So it's very cushy and really comfortable to put your feet on. Look, I know it looks silly, but honestly, I don't care. If you're kind of short like me, this gives your feet a place to rest. And that is all I was looking for. Okay, this blanket is my last recommendation. It's called the Ever Snug Premium. It's very, very soft and plush and wonderful. So this is actually a huge blanket. I'll take it out of here so you can see it. It's very big and it folds into this little zippered pouch. So you can use the blanket by itself, of course, and then you could stick a jacket or a hoodie inside the zippered pouch, which can then be used as a pillow. So then you have a pillow and a blanket and nobody else has touched them ever. Since those cheap, thin blankets that they give you in economy during like red eye flights absolutely suck and the pillow provides no padding whatsoever, this is a much better option. Plus, I have had no issues carrying these on outside of my two carry-ons because it's basically just replacing that classic neck pillow. The pouch has a carabiner on it, so you can easily place this on a backpack, for example, and there's also a luggage sleeve on the back of the pouch itself, so you can rest this on top of your rolling suitcase. This one also comes in a few different colors in case you're not into the pink color. So I honestly love traveling. I like seeing new places and cultures and meeting new people, but I can't really enjoy it if I don't sleep well on the way there and if I get off the plane feeling like absolute garbage. So I have hunted down these products to make my travel life a, just a little bit easier. You can't really control flight delays, but you can control at least some of your creature comforts. So that is my goal with this roundup. Hopefully these make your flights during the holidays just a little less stressful and they help you feel ready to take on the day. Of course, comment below with your recommendations because I'm always looking for ideas. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. Bye y'all.